This is a follow-up on the Uifone Armor 9 with the thermal flare camera and the ruggedness and the heaviest phone alive. It's not alive, obviously. What am I talking about? So yeah, about uh, five or six months ago, I don't know. I bought the I bought this phone. I bought this phone and and I've been using it every single day. Uh, it's been all over Europe, <laughs> and yeah, it hasn't failed me once. But anyway, uh, there are things that are very wrong with this phone, and uh, there are things that are, that are very right. This happens with all the phones, obviously. But yeah, this is a, a follow up on that um, because a lot of you have requested it, and yeah, sure, um, I'll make a video in it. Um, first thing you need to know. I, I am not a YouTuber. I don't have a, a studio. I don't have a gold plate or silver plate or whatever. And I couldn't care less. I bought the phone with my own money. This information, I'm just putting it out there because it might help you. If you're on the market for a phone or something, uh, It might. I hope it helps you. So I made a list on everything that's right and everything that's wrong with it. Uh, the first thing is um, no navigation gestures. So yeah, this is a stock on, um, for now at least, I don't know if there's going to be an update, but it's stuck on Android 10. Android 10 does not allow um, gesture navigations with a third party launcher. And the stock launcher is crap, so you need to actually use a third party launcher. So yeah, that's it. Everything that I'm gonna say here is, uh, is not depending on rooting. I could root the phone and I could change everything about it. I know it's an Android. I know I can do stuff. I just don't have the time or the patience to do that. So I'm speaking from the perspective of someone who has the time to sideload an APK, for instance, but I'm not going to root the damn thing. I just don't care. So next, some apps can't be installed. Again, you can root the phone, you can remove them. Uh, but as it stands, you cannot uninstall some of the apps. Uh, I, most of the phones have this. Most of the phones are like this. But I, I came from a Pixel device and the Pixel has no bloat whatsoever. Um, so yeah, there it is. If it bothers you, there you go. Camera AI mode sucks. Um, yeah, the, <laughs> the native camera on this phone is not good. Sucks balls. However, you can sideload an APK with the Google camera and everything will be just fine. No percentage when the battery saver is on. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, if, I, if it gets to 20%, the battery saver comes on automatically. That's how I have it set in the system. And then over there, let me show you this. So over there you get uh, the battery symbol with the plus inside. And from 20% down, you you can't uh, tell how much battery you have. Even if you do it like this, there's no information. So if I want to know if I have like 5% left or if I have 19% left, I have to come here, disable the battery saver, check the battery percentage, and then come here again and activate it again. So this is a stupid bug. It's just a stupid thing. It bothers me. It's not important maybe, but it really bothers me. Um, okay, no battery saver. Now, let me focus this thing. This is in manual focus mode. There you go. Okay, next. Uh, camera flash bug. If you're using the native camera, sometimes you take a picture, the flash uh, comes on, and the picture is taken a second later. So it's <laughs> everything is dark. It's just stupid. It's a stupid bug. So, yeah. Maybe sideload Google camera or some other uh, camera app. Flashlight button only works after the power button. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, the phone is now awake because I, I just turned it off so it's not completely off. And if I hold the, um, the side button, I have it set so that it turns on the flashlight. However, if, see, now I, I will press the button and it just will not work. It wouldn't work to turn it on or to turn it off because in order for this button to work, 
the device must be awake. So now if I press it, it turns off. So every time you need to turn on the flashlight, you have to awake the device, press at least the power button, and then long press the um, this button. So this is this bothers me as well. It's just stupid. If I have a long press, I, d I don't want to have to turn on the, the goddamn device. It's just stupid. Uh, no flashlight on low battery. Oh, this one. This one is the worst. So when it gets below 20%, I think it's 20%. It might be 15. I'm not sure. You cannot use the flashlight. It will tell you low battery, no flashlight. This is ridiculous. If I'm in a life or death situation where I need the freaking flashlight to come on, I don't want the fucking phone to be saving freaking battery. It's stupid. It should let me turn the flashlight whenever I want to turn on the flashlight. This is ridiculous. And I know it's not going to happen. I know Ulephone is not going to watch this video. But if any of you has any power whatsoever, and let this guys know that this is a rugged phone. You use it in the mountains. You use it in caves. You use it exploring. You don't want to be limited by a freaking design where they disable the flashlight if you only have 15% left of battery. It's, it's, it's just stupid. So, yeah. This is turned into a rant, but 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 please don't dismiss the um, the phone just yet. So yeah, flashlight button, uh, no flashlight, no. Uh. Okay, fingerprint. The fingerprint button. Eh. The problem is where it is. Uh, you touch it. You touch it constantly. It's right here, and you're constantly give it a little touch, a small little touch. So when you actually try to use the fingerprint button to unlock the phone, it's not going to work. It's going to tell you every single time too many attempts made because when you're holding the phone in the, you know, so yeah, uh, I'm using face unlock and it works pretty good. I don't care if it's secure or not. Really don't care. Um, aux button does not turn on the screen. Oh yeah, that's another stupid thing. Now this button, you can decide what it does. Let me... Let me get here in the, into the software and it's in settings and smart assistant shortcut settings. So the shortcut, I have it. Um, so, so <laughs> here's the deal. You can go in the long press and you can choose whatever it does. It opens the flashlight and it has that problem where it doesn't open if the phone is sleeping. Uh, but still, you can choose any of your apps. That's that's okay. That's that's fine. Now, <laughs> if uh, you where the hell is it? What's, uh, okay, smart assistant and shortcut settings. Okay, as you can see in the short press, I have it linked to Tasker because I have Tasker installed. And I wished that Tasker uh, could wake my my screen on because I wanted to, you know, touch the freaking button, uh, this one or this one, and the screen would turn on. Or I could maybe, if I want to use the flashlight, touch this one, the screen would turn on, and then I would, you know, do a long press, and then the flash on would come on. But, you know, it doesn't work. Why does it not work? Because the Jesus thing only works is if the phone is on if it's awake so it it doesn't matter what you put on the short press it's not going to work unless the phone is uh, is awake on the double press i have a two screenshot which is quite handy actually so yeah next stupid thing um sd card oh my god it's ridiculous so yeah the sd card is in here and you can, it, I have to show you this because, you know, it's too funny. When you remove this tray, you would think this would be the SD card. So, you know, you can take the footage out or, you know, no, it's not. This is a freaking SIM card here in this um, tray goes a SIM card. The SD card is inside another um, protected little freaking whatever the frick that is. It's unaccessible. So 
if you're thinking you're going to be um, uh, passing data around with the SD card, maybe, I don't know, you have a camera, you take a couple of pictures and videos, and then you put the SD card in the phone, and it's, yeah, it's going to be very cumbersome because you need a little special tool to pry it out. It's just, it's stupid. Okay, next, uh, where is the thing? Here you go. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Buttons are sticking. Yeah, for a while, the, um, the minus volume uh, was getting stuck. Like, it would work, but it at the first press, it needed like a little, and then... It, it would be fine and then it gets stuck again and then it'd be fine but it hasn't done that uh, for um, a couple of, of days now it seems to be fixed there was some run, random thing maybe uh, so yeah that's it for the um, that's it for the bad stuff now let's get into the good stuff because if the phone was all only bad I wouldn't be using it you know for as my daily driver um, gloves mode Glove mode, gloves mode on this thing is amazing. You can have, a, um, you know, a cloth glove. You can have a work glove, and it will still register your touches. Uh, it's not one hundred percent, but it's ninety-five percent, which is very cool. Uh, if you turn off the gloves mode, it's um, it, it will not work with gloves. Uh, so it's really cool. The flashlight, turning on the flashlight is a pain. However, the flashlight is amazing it has um four leds they are very bright and they all turn on when you use the um, the flashlight so yeah best flashlight i ever saw in a in a phone next we have the battery this thing is very good um i get two days every time sometimes two and a half days and I use it quite a lot. Uh, I use a thermal camera, I use the regular camera, the flashlight a lot. Um, I use it to listen to music. It's, yeah, so battery on point. Thermal camera, of course. Yeah, that's the reason why I carry a 20 kilogram phone. Uh, it's, it's amazing. It, it, I use it almost every day. You'll be surprised if you have a thermal camera in your pocket, how many times you, you will use it? Because, you know, if you have a problem, most of the times, just look for the heat signature. And that's where the problem is going to be. Be it an engine, be it an electrical circuit, be it whatever. Even for checking if your house is well insulated, whatever. The, the, the thermal camera is really good and must have. Um, this, the, the ability to have a strap. I like this a lot. I think all the phones should should have it. It's it's really handy. In my case, I have a paracord. It's a ten meter long uh, paracord. If if I ever need it in an emergency, but I can you know use it like this, and it's uh, it's cool. I love that that it has a, a strap. Um, I use it also a lot when I turn on the flashlight and I hang it on a tree or on a rock or whatever, and the flashlight keeps. Uh, Illuminating where I'm working on. What else? Uh, speakers. The speakers are great. It's just one speaker, um, but it and it's not very. Uh, it doesn't have a great bass, but it's it's good enough so that if you're in a vehicle that does not have a radio, you can use it and you'll be able to listen to the music over the sound of the engine. So yeah, it's it's good enough. It's not. You know audiophile type thing but it's it it's good I, I can't explain it. it's just good you know it's much better than the pixel or you know it's so much better than the iPhones that um, a couple of friends have so yeah it's a good good speaker I mean if if you're well I was going to say if you're an Apple fanboy don't get all you know um, how do you say it in English? Uh, don't take it personally or whatever, because I said the speaker is better than an iPhone. Uh, but then I realized no Apple fanboy is going to be watching this video. So I think we're safe. Yeah, this is, this is a better speaker than that. 
other piece of crap. Maybe because the phone is so heavy. This thing is so heavy that because of because of its mass, maybe the speaker is better. I don't know. Not a sound engineer, so. Oh god dang it. I got out again. So where is it? Where the hell is it? Oh, there you go. Okay. Speaker, so calling ring and notification volume. I I put this in the list, I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The because the speaker is so good, the the calling ring is very loud. It's like re and the notification uh, as well. The the volume on a call it's it's incredible. Uh, if you lose your phone, I, I use this paired with um, with this uh, Casio. If you guys want to see a review on the um, on the Casio, this is amazing. This watch is like wow, it's really really good. Uh, but anyway. Um, and if I lose my phone, I, I come here to the Casio watch and I, you know, uh, ask it where the phone is and then it rings. And when it starts ringing, even it's, yeah, it's very, it's very, very loud. Um, so yeah, that's good. Uh, and that's it. That's the, the list that I made about the, the phone. Um, other things that I can tell you is it's still super fast. It hasn't slowed down whatsoever. It gets updates uh, about, I don't know, maybe once a month. I But I don't remember when it was the last time that I got an update. But they, it's minor things. It's just like the um, security patches and whatever. Um, what else? The screen is good. It's the best phone I ever used. I'm, I'm serious. And uh, they came out with um, the... Armor 10 and those idiots they, they, they don't, it doesn't have a thermal camera so what's the point it has 5g oh my god it has 5g who gives a flying crap about 5g Gee, who who are they do they think that people that buy this kind of phone are fooled by the 5g propaganda you don't have 5g anywhere i mean where you have 5g you don't need a phone like this you don't need a phone like this in this in, in it, it's ridiculous they should anyway yeah it has 5g i don't give a crap about 5g i will give a crap about 5g in about two to three years maybe let's see how the rollout goes for now fuck 5g uh, they should have kept a flare thermal if they did i would probably buy the new one um if if it was better than this one obviously which i don't know if it is um well anyway i think this about wraps it up um yeah if uh, you have any questions put it down in the doobly do and i will try to, to answer it um if when i see him sometimes it, it's weeks and i don't come to um to YouTube or, or I don't go on YouTube so I, I might not see your comment right away but when I see it I will answer you so yeah there it is Dealer Phone Armor 9 I recommend it it's really good it hasn't dropped really hard yet but it has dropped a lot it's been in the snow it's been underwater it's a uh, it's a good phone it's a really good phone it's a heavy durable phone I like it. I recommend it. There you go.